What's it good? Where are you to be? Futzing around with the iPad, trying to figure out a better angle. I like this view, right? I try to hook you guys up with the little view out the window while I'm sitting here running my fucking mouth. Ah, oh, inspiration. Hear my birds? I love that background. Let me crank open the window. <laughs> so, this is a little touchy subject for me. It's um, family, right? I called Dave Dog today. Um, something I've been meaning to ask him for quite some time. And every time we get to run in our mouth, I always forget. So I blow him up on the phone. We were chewing the fat and I almost forgot again. And uh, I was like, dude, remember when you told me my brother wanted my address? He's like, yeah. I said, dude, I never heard from him. I don't know why he wanted my address. And I don't want to put you in the middle of the mix. I go, but I need to know. And if you tell me anything, I'll, I'll, I'll keep it between you and I, right? I'm not going to go call my brother and say, oh, fucking Dave said this, right? And he goes, dude, man, like I told you, there's really nothing I can say other than he wanted your address, but he didn't really get into why. And when we talked about you, he just said, yeah, you know, sometimes me and John, we don't see eye to eye on some stuff and blah, blah, blah. Well, it was worse than that. And it was my fault. I'm pretty sure I was drunk the last time we talked and uh, I blew it. The thing is, my brother spent two years in San Quentin, then he violated and he had to go back for another eight months to Corcoran. And uh, that fucking broke my heart seeing him in there. But I never asked him about it, and he doesn't talk about it in his time in prison. He's not like these guys on the fucking gadget that go run in their mouth about the time in prison and all the politics and programming and all that fucking Wes Watson bullshit, right? My brother's never spoke a word. I heard him use the word programming a couple times, but I never knew what the fuck it meant. That's why I watched Watson and a, and a handful of other channels when it comes to prison, because... It helps educate me on my brother. His, uh, his time in prison and me going to see him kept me out of so much trouble. Him and I are a lot alike in some ways and very different in others. Same mom, different dad, go figure, right? But he suffers like I do from tears and anger and uh, I don't know if he's ever figured out why you know I don't know if he has even heard the word complex PTSD but when he violated it was over a road rage incident with some chick in a car right he flipped out while he was driving and I used to be really bad too and he followed this chick fucking screaming or something supposedly I don't know and uh, she called the cops. Cops showed up and fucking hauled him off and back to the pen over a road, road, road rage. Oh, <laughs> there's a Freudian slip. A road rage incident because of being broken, bad temper, angry, and snapping. Oh, man, I wish I would have known this as a young man. I might have a few friends <laughs> because uh, the thing about complex PTSD for me is it's left me lonely, right? I've chased everybody off. If you were to interview the people that were close to me or casual friends or whatever, I'm sure you'd hear quite a story. <laughs> I 
can only imagine. So anyway, just felt the need to chime on this right quick. I know I'm not the only one, neither is my brother when it comes to anger and doing stupid shit, right? And uh, just say no. It's up to you whether you got any friends or not. All right, I've said enough. <laughs> you guys have a great day. Much love and respect for me and the girls. You know how we do. Love the ones that love you back. Do your best with the rest. And we'll talk soon.